the Nixon sequence was as hard as any of the sequences, which was very hard. Uh, taking uh, him and mouth morphing him essentially to be able to say the line that referred to the Watergate Hotel and putting Tom up into the hotel. His, his guys would take care of it. Uh, he's also holding a plaque that he's going to give for us, which has Forrest's name on it. And we had to put the plaque face onto the one that Nixon was holding, which doesn't seem like anything, but it was such a lot of subtle bobbing and weaving and perspective changes, it was really painful matching that in. When we start out on the shot by replacing what was on the original plaque, tracking that in, pulling all the way back out to reveal Tom getting rid of the original guy who was standing there receiving this award, and replaced all the shelf work, added the extra little bit of camera shake. The continuing challenge in all this archival footage is it was never shot with the intention of being used for effects work. It's a camera sitting on somebody's shoulder, the guy zooming in and out, which they tended to do a lot in news situations. It's shaking all over the place. It's 16 millimeters, so there's all this grain and stuff. And trying to make that fit into our new elements was just an incredible feat of uh, not so much pushing new technologies as really pushing the limits of doing some things we knew how to do and doing them very, very well. A few months later, they invited me and the ping pong team to visit the White House. So I went again, and I met the President of the United States again. Only this time, they didn't get us rooms in a real fancy hotel. So are you enjoying yourself in our nation's capital, young man? Yes, sir. Well, where are you staying? It's called the Hotel Ebot. Oh, no, 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 no. I know of a much nicer hotel. It's brand new, very modern. I'll have my people take care of it for you. 